Welcome to my channel friends, this side Sonia here and today as you can see I have this uh, MDF tag. So it's a really nice quality MDF tag and this is around 4mm or 5mm types and I'm going to use my acrylic paint on this and I am using my paintbrush here because uh, in this one I am going to use different textures so anyways my base is not going to be clear at all. Usually I use my sponge tubber and I highly recommend that and uh, I could um, realize that in this one I am going to play around with loads of texture so that's the reason I don't want to uh, actually I don't have to worry about the base color so the reason why I am using black uh, white acrylic paint is because I want to um, highlight my napkin my decoupage napkins and uh, this project is all about combining your decoupage and mixed media projects and to have something really nice and cool and catchy so that you can um, use it for your project and I'm just trying to figure out that how it is going to look and okay so I'm done with my one coat of uh, acrylic paint and let me get my uh, water jar and then I'll be back okay so I'm back with my water mug my tag has almost dried out and it's looking good now but still I'll run my heat gun so that in case if it's wet from some of the other areas because usually with the bust or uh, brush strokes you can see some lines and they might be wet so So here I am uh, done and this is tied out really well now. This is my Mod Podge and this is one of the leftover pieces of my decoupage napkin which I've used on like so many of my projects and this was the only piece left. So I'm trying to remove the plies of this. Maybe I should start it from here and but one go yes with one go i could remove the ply easily and all the my plies have been removed and now it's time to use my mod podge and i'm not uh tearing off any of the extra sides of this because anyways it's it's a very small space and i don't think my brush is so 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 smooth it's so soft okay now back to my decoupage technique and once we are done with this decoupage then we are going to also add my uh, mixed media technique on this so this is going to be a really fun video where you will see me doing so many techniques and that's the gorgeous part of this project uh, okay and now I am going to stick it and now I'll just dab it I'll take my sponge dropper that will be easier for me and I'll just press it and here oops it's done I need to add some more uh, Mod Podge here because I realized that I had not sticked it on the other side and I'll add some more here and some here. Just removing the extra portions with my fingers because my uh, Mod Podge is wet so I can easily tear off the extra portions but I'm not going to do too much because it leads to the lines and uh, marks here and there and this is 
done and this looks quite good now and now I'm going to let it dry and then I will be back okay so my tag has dried out well and I just need to remove some of the papers from the edges and it's, it was actually a very tiny one and the rest of the side looks really good to me so now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to add texture to this and for that I'm going to use my modeling paste this is one of the best 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 modeling play, uh, paste what you can have and I am going to use my palette knife and I really feel that palette knives are really a versatile thing which you can use on your uh, um, mixed media projects your decoupage projects and in multiple ways okay now coming back to my tag here what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my texture paste on the areas which is white so wherever I don't have the decoupage napkin on that areas I'm going to have my texture now even if it overlaps with the uh, decoupage napkin some like here and there that's absolutely fine it is going to going to look actually uh, good only so um, I think I should have taken the smaller palette knife so that it would have been much 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 easier for me and yes I think I'm done with the texture here okay so now this is how my tag looks and I'm just going to remove all the extra modeling paste from the sides and done now I'm going to use my heat gun so that I can dry it a little fast and here I am using my heat gun my tag has dried out really well the texture paste has also dried out well and now I'm going to rub this uh, can uh, wax on my texture paste and this is just to add some extra layer to it so that when I use my other mediums on it it is not going to go on that and I'm not sure how it will work out so I'm just trying and I'm just rubbing it on the texture areas definitely it is coming on the board also but then that's absolutely fine and I'm done with rubbing my texture or uh, my wax on my texture medium and now what I'm going to do is I am going to have my acrylic color now here I need to be uh, really 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 careful because um, I have my decoupage paper and I don't want my color to come on my decoupage paper as I have not done any uh, coat of color on that so I'm just splashing some water I'll take a tinge of color here and I might need to add some more water so that it spreads well and I'll add some more color and once I'm happy with the color here I'm just going to spread it here on my tag and I'm going to make sure that I cover the complete or uh, white areas adding some more water is completely optional like you can choose it the way you want it and I wanted a very tinge of blue color in this so that's the reason I added some water to it and now you can see that my color is not coming on my texture at all it is just going around my texture and which is why working with wax is super easy and super fun adding some more uh, blue shades here and there and this is just to make it more closer to the color combinations I can have and this is 
done now i'm going to let it dry again or maybe i'll use my heat gun now i'll tell you the reason why i had added a uh, more of uh, wax to my project now if you see the letters my letters are clean only the edges have the paints where there were no wax so that's the reason i added the wax so that my colors or uh, my texture can pop out well and my colors also look a little prominent just because it is covering the edges so i'll use my heat gun again and now i'm going to add some more color and i just want to have a little darker edges here so with my paint brush i'm just spreading the colors a little more and i just keep it a little down so that it comes out well and you can see the difference now with the just one color by adding just one shade to my project it's looking completely different Okay, so now I have wanted to add some tinge of brown shades to it and this is just to highlight my edges and you can see that how uh, smoothly I am going to do it on the edges. I am not going to do too much on my uh, center part. It's just the edges which I am going to highlight and I am using a dye based ink here and it's mostly the edges. So can you see the difference that how rustic and how... Uh, nice this looks and I'll be adding some shades here and this is just going to add some more tinge of darkness to my leaves and something on flower and some portions here and there just a tinge this is just a tinge of shade which I'm using here and I think this looks good now uh, now I need to stick up my wooden clip here and I'm going to have it somewhere here next is a uh, very important thing is my varnish yes I'm going to use my varnish in this oops, MDF uh, tag project also uh, the reason why I want to add this because I have done texture to it I have added a decoupage napkin to it and I want to make sure that it sticks well and it lasts long and that's the reason I'm doing my varnish now I have used a dye based ink beneath that so what I want to do is I really don't want to um, smudge that at all so I'm just brushing up and this is a quick brush uh, varnish technique which I am doing here so that means I'm not going to run my brush again and again on the same areas just one stroke of varnish and this is good to go I'll just put some varnish on my wooden clip also okay and this is done now quickly and very 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 quickly I'm going to re run my heat gun over this and 
can you really see the colors and textures and how beautiful it has come out so now this has partially dried out or uh, like if you can see on camera most of the areas has dried out really well now i'm going to add this uh, jute thread and this is in the shade of uh, gray color which i thought will go really uh, well with my project so i'm going to double this up and see that how much length i will be needing here and i'll just poke it inside my tag maybe 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 i can use this liar just insert it inside your tag i'm not going to tie this because um, just in case if i want to change it over the time then i can easily do it so that's the reason i love uh, using my tags ribbon of uh, different shades and with this technique i can easily change it any time so here i am oops, done and this looks good now this size is actually uh, really good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this area and just to make it a little more fuller I'm going to open the strands of this uh, jute thread. So what happens is when you open these threads they look a little uh, more fuller which I really like. So if you can see the difference this is how my one single strand looks and this is how the open one looks and it looks more fuller it gives gives more volume to this more coverage to it and i like this i like the way this is looking now and i will quickly add a sentiment here so i'm just going to clip it on this and with this my decoupage and mixed media gift tag is done and i'm sharing more pictures at the end do check that uh, so that you can see the detailing of these and if you have any 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 queries please do comment below and yes of course i'm going to add all the supplies used in this video down in the description box do check that thank you so 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 much for watching take care bye bye